to have a swagger. Yes, sir. Hey. Where are you going? This is the Oval Office. Security. eight. <laughs> no one's here. <laughs> is it January already? <laughs> I'm out of office. Uh, welcome, folks, to Gay Math. We are doing Obama math. Woo. Give yourselves a hand for that. Give it. <laughs> this is my, oh, I haven't introduced you to my board. This is my easel. I, he goes by the name Easel E. Mm. <laughs> wow, you know. You easel know. E. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, Don't go into late. sports. No. Yeah, 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 I won't. I won't, I won't. <laughs> yeah, Easel E. So today we're going to be doing uh, graphs of cosecant and secant. I'll remind, remind you what these both are. Yes. First, let's do a little exploration on the unit circle again. Just remind us, on the unit circle, what is the radius when we're talking about unit circle? The radius, like there it's zero, and then it's... Uh, well, the, the, well, what is this point? Zero, one's here. Oh, one zero. zero. That's why we do this. Good job. We're gonna, have, we're gonna get you. Now, do you agree that this length is one? And I rotate around. Now, what's this point? Zero one. Zero one. So, what is the radius of my rotation? Then uh, 90, 90, 90 degrees. Radius, not the angle. Oh, oh. how long? Uh, over two. How long is this marker? That is one. One. Oh yes. Do you see that's that? True. And then we could talk angles. And the reason why we call it unit circle is because this is one unit. Oh. G unit. <laughs> radius equals one. Okay. All right, now let's do some angles. This, um, we'll do it in degrees and radians. So let's start with degrees. Zero degrees, keep going. 90. 90, keep going. 180. 180, keep 270. going. 270, keep going. And then 360. 360, 360. chilling. Let's, uh, I did, didn't put all the points. Let's put the points. And then negative one zero. Negative one zero, said with Oompa Loompa. Hook it up. What's this point, zero, please? Zero, negative one. Zero, negative one. Woo! <laughs> drop the zero. <laughs> I said drop the mic reference. <laughs> but mathematically speaking. <laughs> all right, so we did all. And now let's do radians. Start you off. Zero radians over here. And it's, uh, it's pi, pi over two. two. Pi over two. Very nice. And then it's pi. And then it's pi. And then it's three, three pi, pi over two. two. Three pi over and two. And then it's two pi. And then it's two pi. That's a lot of pi. <laughs> What? Pumpkin pie. A part of you, pumpkin pie. Presidential slacks anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, now we're gonna do cosecant. So here's the thing with cosecant. Okay. All cosecant is is it's the reciprocal <laughs> of a sine. Oh boy. All right. So what this is when you say cosecant of x, it's like you're really saying one over sine x. Okay. Oh. That's all this is. That's what cosecant is, and it it, it actually behaves very weirdly. And uh, let's put our points of interest down. So in love with <laughs> 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 Musical <laughs> mathematics, sir, uh, they're very intertwined. That's Mozart. <laughs> All right, what are the five X points of interest, please? Zero. Zero, I love it, I love it. <laughs> Hook it up. Zero, pi over two. Pi over two. Pi. 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 Three, Three pi, pi over two. two. Three pi over two. Two, two, pi. two pi. Excellent friends. Folks and friends. We have easel E and, and <laughs> easel two E. And two pi oc. <laughs> two pi oc. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> like to yeah, tribute. Oh, but you had tribute to the fallen. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's do it. Now, what is the sign when x is zero? What is the sign of zero? Um, One. Uh, no, zero. Over here. Oh, let's put it down. Yeah. You're right. Unit circle. Yeah. Every point is what, comma, what? Sine. Uh, cosine. Cosine over sine. Cosine, cosine of the angle, comma? Sine, sine of the angle. Sine of the angle. Right, cosine has to do with x. As a brief reminder, because it's going to help you later on, do you agree cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse? Yes. Cosine? Because it's co-op. Co yeah, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. <laughs> get up! So the adjacent ka, side is sorry. always yeah, it's ka. ka. I know you would get there. Yeah. I know. I knew. I actually saw that you're gonna get there, so yeah. I let it go. Yeah. It's a teacher maneuver. I've been doing this for 20 minutes. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Lots of experience in pedagogy. 
<laughs> yeah, that's your words. <laughs> cosine has to do with x yeah. because cosine is adjacent. Yeah. Sine has to do with y because sine Cosine. is opposite. 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 So here, check it out. This is y. Uh -huh. This is x. Oh, okay. So well, that's that. why up and down is y. Uh -huh. So that has to do with sine. Oh, also like on a graph. Yeah, yeah, so, on a graph, yeah, right. <laughs> so we'll put that, that was just as a brief reminder. Okay, we'll get, we'll touch on that more. If you didn't get that right away, it's okay. It's no big deal. Okay, um, All right, so now, sine of zero is? Zero. 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 Yeah. One so over zero. One over zero is what? Zero. zero. No. What? what, what? You can't do it. Can't. Undefined. What? I don't appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, not defining something is kind of mean. It's Ask so me, annoying. like, you're like, what is the definition of pedagogy? <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Ask me. What is the definition of pedagogy? Undefined. So I get that. Why that's annoying. What's the definition it's of undefined? Undefined. Yeah. Undefined. Yeah. undefined. Undefined, right? So. So let's let's actually pause on this thought, and I'll tell you how it looks in a second. Okay. Before we continue on, because I know you'll be able to, and we will. What I would like to do is I'd like to graph sine first. Okay. Let's graph sine first, and we'll compare the difference. So I'm gonna make a little space here. So this one, all right, this one will be our cosecant. cosecant. So this is y equals cosecant x, okay. which is one over sine. <laughs> all right, and then over here, let's take this off, and we'll do a new t-chart. And this will just be regular sine, okay? Regular sign. So I'm making a different chart now? Yeah, just an, an additional one. Okay. okay. And we'll put this as y equals sign. And we'll even graph it. Easily. Keep it together. <laughs> Zero. Pi over two. Pi. Three pi over two. Two pi. Two pi off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So in love with you. I can already tell we're gonna be throwing down. <laughs> yeah, let's do an Al Green battle. <laughs> oh, I get what you did. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now let's walk through sign because it's important. I'll give you a second to fill out all the stuff you need, and then we're gonna walk through sign. Ready when you are. All right. What is the sign of zero? Uh, it's one. Uh, zero. zero. Zero right here. Ah. There it is. It's okay. You're going to get used to it. The more you apply yourself, the more you're going to get used to it. Okay. Um, maybe we should do that in like a different color. Okay. And we'll do these. We'll do these in blue. So this is bah, zero. So this is zero. What is the sign of pi over two? Uh, one. One. <laughs> zero. What is the sign? Zero. Sign. Negative, Negative one. one. Negative one. Zero. And zero. zero. Put the points down. Just like Kobe Bryant, put the points down. Put the points down. <laughs> Drop an 81. Mm -hmm. Single game. Okay. Play some White House pop. Yeah. <laughs> Wop. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason that the dots are open this time? No, they're not. Oh. That's that's my artistic side. <laughs> Shining through. All right. So that's your sign graph. Now, let's do this in red for cosecant. Here we go. What is y equals 1 over sine x? Remind me what sine x results in? Sine of 0? What? What's what? sine of 0? Sorry. Sine of 0 is 0. 0. So now it would be one over zero, which is? Um, undefined. Yeah, undefined. Undefined, very good. Yeah. Remind me what sine of pi over two is? Um, one. Um, it one. is? So it's no, just one. zero. It's, it's no, it's one. one. It's one. Sine of pi over two is one. Yes. Yeah, right? so it's one over one. Over one over one makes? One. one. One, very good. Remind me what sine of pi is? Zero. Zero. Undefined. What is one over zero? Oh. Undefinable. Undefined. Very this good. It's very yeah. frustrating that everything's undefinable. <laughs> Undefined is kind of cool. You'll see it's a little, it leads to like this massive explosion. 
<laughs> like a search. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> All right. Uh, what is the sign of three pi over two? Negative one. Negative one. Which makes it negative one. One over negative one. You got it. You got it. And what is the sign of two pi? Undefinable. Zero, which is one over that is undefined. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to graph cosecant in red. Here it Ooh, comes. Under pen. Zero, zero. Now look. Okay. Just do a dash. In other words. Are you, are you going to do color? Cool. That's cool. I should have brought my color pencil. Just do a dash. Pen. Line. I had like pink and purple. You'll need dash lines. That's true. I, that's what I'm just doing. I'm just doing dash lines. In fact, you're going to need dash right now is what we're saying. The question is. Within cosecant, in this situation, mm -hmm. right here, is x allowed to be zero? Yes. No. 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 Are we allowed to plug in x as zero? If we do, the graph will be undefined, right? Yeah. So that means every value when x is zero is not allowed, that creates an asymptote at x Ooh. equals zero. Oh, weird. See this? Oh. Here, do you agree x is zero all the way up and down this red line? Yeah. Right. So x is not allowed to be here. In fact, let's do it here. Are we allowed to plug in pi into here? No. 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 Because you can't have multiple variables. variables. No, not, not, that, not for that reason. Let's talk about it. What is yes. sine of pi? Sine of pi is negative 1. Oh, wait, sine of pi? 0. Z zero. It one. is. 0. Oh, zero. sine of pi is 0. Yes. Sine of pi is 0. Yes. We can go over here to always confirm. Sine of pi is 0. Mm -hmm. And if sine of pi is 0, that means 1 over 0 would be cosecant. Uh, Does that make sense? That makes sense, yeah. So if sine of pi is 0, this would be undefined. So we're undefined right here as well. Oh, wow. Let's see. In other words, the cosecant graph reciprocates 0 here. So every value of 0 is now 1 over 0, which will be undefined. We'll prove it here oh. one more time. Yeah. So now what is the sine of 2 pi? Um, the sine is zero. It is? So it has, it's the same thing. So it's the same thing. So x is not allowed to be 2 pi in cosecant. I'm glad you get that. Mm. X is not allowed, so we put it here as an asymptote. So we just check the other. Okay. And now, yes, now we do have common points, don't so we? We've... The peak is a common point. Yeah. Pi over 2, 1. So I'm going to put a circle there. The valley is a common point here. That's a valley. It's a reference close to us. The valley. <laughs> yeah. Um, so these points are actually shared, right? This is pi over 2, comma 1, 3 pi over 2, comma negative 1, okay? And now, if you know anything about asymptotes, you will get this effect here, here, and here. Oh, it's chill. Yeah. So, like, asymptotes, pretty much you come close to the asymptote. You flirt, but you never touch. You flirt, you never touch. Get close and close and close. But you can't. But you can't touch them. All right. So the cosecant graph is the red stuff. Yes. The sine is the blue stuff. Here, cosecant, these things. Mm -hmm. Sine, the blue stuff. Questions? Okay. We're going to go ahead and do secant, which is the reciprocal of cosine. Very similar process. Super similar. So we'll take, now I'm going to get it right. That goes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Learning on the job. <laughs> on the job. Good job, Mr. President. <laughs> we knew you could do it. You know my title? Oh. <laughs> I'm getting emotional here. You had it, you had it in you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> it's uh, hard to keep in character when you get it's emotional. The election season does that to people. Yeah, no. <laughs> sometimes good ways, sometimes bad. <laughs> All right, let's do cosine and then secant. Again, a reminder secant is the reciprocal of cosine. That's 1 over cosine. Are we going to make X. another graph? Yes, we'll make a new graph. Make a new graph. Okay. <laughs> and, but what the good news is, is that you'll see that everything that's 0 will explode again as a reciprocal and become undefined. That's the, that's the idea. So here we have 2 pi, pi in the middle, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. Beautiful. This is 1. You know what's cool, you guys? Mm. We're doing Teach for Mastery. This is the method. It's called Teach for Mastery, right? So I'm not just teaching you tricks. I'm actually going through it step by step with you. 
Alrighty, cosine. Cosine. What is the cosine of zero? The cosine of zero one. is one. One. Maybe you can uh, go yeah. through them down here. Cosine pi over two? Zero. Negative one. Zero. Right? Yep, yep. One. One. Bravo. Woo. Okay. Thank you. Now, yeah, very nice. Now reciprocate one. 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 Reciprocate zero. Undefined. Undefined. Solid. Still I'll do it in red annoying. now. Do it in red. Yeah, sorry if it's annoying. <laughs> I apologize on behalf of math. Undefined. Reciprocate negative one. Negative one. Reciprocate zero. Undefined. Reciprocate one. One. So do you see that? Like, I want to go back to cosine. Put cosine down. Cosine's in blue. Here. 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 And here, I'm just following these five points. We got our curve effect. There it is. That's one period of cosine. One period is one section of, before it repeats again. It's going to repeat down here again. Looks like this goes down. It's going to go down again. So that's one period of cosine. And now we're here. The peaks and the valleys are shared. That one, that one, and that one. They're shared. These are all the same. And then you have undefined at zeros. Let me know if I'm going too fast. <laughs> and if you recall the rules of asymptotes, asymptotes, tater tots, asymptotes, my goats. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Abe, I gotta move this table. Um, if you recall the rules of asymptotes, we have flirt, but don't touch. Flirt, but don't touch. That's a romantic. <laughs> you know. That's why you did it. Yeah. Right? Oh, you know, you know, I'm a true romantic. I'm a spirit. You, Michelle. Yes. <laughs> oh, Michelle. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there, honey. I got a thing to, we got to work out this trick with my friends. <laughs> now, you'll notice here, it's like half of it. Here. Oh. Flirt, but don't touch. By the way, it would continue on, like the graph itself would do this, do that. The graph itself would do this. The full graph continues on infinitely. It's gonna be like a high one, a low one, high one, low one. Yeah. Over and over. So is there a reason you put the other arrows in green? Yeah, is because it... that's another period. I'm like outside oh, okay. the period oh, okay. too. Okay. Okay. Like yeah. I'm just demonstrating that it continues on infinitely. Perfect. But we just, we're focusing on one period of secant. Cool. All right. Looks like abstract art. I it's really like cool. It. I do like I do like you how can it looks. You make some really awesome smiley yeah. faces with this. Real. You really can. You graph, graph in calc. You just put in like um, y equals one over cosine of x, and you'll get these these graphs. And then you could get the cosine, which is sort of like the curve that touches mm -hmm. the peaks and the valleys. So you'll get like both of them together. You could call cosine like the river. Right here, here's the river. Mm -hmm. And then like secant is like the trail leading to the river. Fill your water bucket and leave. Trail leading to the river, fill the All water right. bucket, leave. I can dig it. Right. Yeah. And then on, on a test or something, you can, you're can you allowed to like maybe erase the cosine one. Oh, so you use it just like as a, a guy. Half, guy. A guy. Half, two happy faces and a frowny face. So it's a good day. Yeah. <laughs> Overall win. <laughs> we'll take that. All right. Thank you, everyone. Say bye. 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 Thank bye, you. Viewers. Go to Air Force One. Hello, I'm President Barack Obama. In any approaching election season, it is of the utmost importance to vote. Your vote directly shapes the future of our nation. Simply Google how to register to vote for details in your area. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message.